The Crypto Markets Update is brought to you by KuCoin, the best place to find the next crypto gem. Three major central banks, the Fed, European Central Bank, and the Bank of England are expected to raise rates this week. Joining us now to discuss the crypto markets and how these rate hikes might affect it is Hani Rashwan. He is co-founder and CEO of 21.co, the parent company of crypto ETF firm 21Shares. Hello, Hani. Good morning. Happy to be here. Good morning. Glad you're here. So as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the, we have these central banks that are looking to raise rates. However, uh, yesterday on 60 Minutes, um, it, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, who herself was a central banker, says she doesn't expect uh, inflation or she expects inflation to fall uh, quite considerably in 2023. Uh, so what? how are the markets interpreting all this? I mean, you know, granted, Yellen is now a Treasury Secretary. She's no longer in the central bank, and she has no control over rate policy. Nonetheless, she, better than anybody else, knows the inner workings of how the Fed might think and, and how many of the board governors are thinking of uh, on these things. So um, do, have we turned the corner, really, in inflation? Is that under control, at least in the United States, with the U.S. dollar? I think it's still a little uh, too early to tell on that. Um, crypto is obviously... Uh, going to be affected by a few factors, but this is one of the big macro uh, trends that will inevitably be, uh, have a huge weight on our industry. Um, we we do think that it's highly likely that the rates will remain higher than where we would expect or want them to be um, for positive effects on the crypto industry, uh, but that's still very much unclear, and it's unclear which central banks are going to do that, and if indeed there will be a pivot away from raising interest rates at the uh, rates that they've been raising, them, which is a little bit on the higher side. Uh, in addition to interest rates, however, it is mid-December now. Uh, there will be a lot of selling action, which will be a negative on the, on the price, in effect, uh, due to tax loss harvesting and the end of the year coming up. Uh, and we would say that that coupled with a lot of the developments of the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, uh, as well as equity markets potentially decoupling from, from crypto, uh, will have significant weight on how we uh, are impacted by a lot of these interest rate hikes as well. So I, I, I kind of want to, for, for the audience, because I, I, I think many people don't see the relationship, but how do we translate Fed and central bank actions, other central bank actions, to uh, risk? And, how, and what does it mean for uh, the market's propensity to take on risk, i.e. crypto, in this kind of environment? Do you see, ultimately, uh, uh, maybe more willingness than expected to take risk if Rate, rate hikes are, are tapering off. If you, I hate using the tape, word yeah. taper. But, you know, what, what, what do you think, how do you think they're going to, how do you think the markets are going to view uh, the willingness of, the, of to take risk? Well, it's, it's a pretty strong risk off environment right now, not just in crypto, but, but across every industry and in, in, in every country around the world. We've been comforted internally by the plateauing of, of the Bitcoin price within a specific band. And so uh, while a lot of uh, people have moved on to a very risk off environment, it hasn't had near as material um, impact as as it could have been. Uh, I think the easiest way of thinking about this is last year, the year before the past 10 years, money has been cheaper to to get to to acquire, to borrow, uh, to use a lot of um, to use a lot of uh, financial facilities to uh, be able to get more loans, to be able to invest more. As interest rates go up, the price, the value of money becomes higher. So it becomes harder to get additional money. And as a result, people will spend it a lot uh, more carefully. And that's something that we're seeing now uh, across, again, not just the crypto market, but across a lot of other industries as well. Excellent. So as we come to a close for the year, what are some of your predictions for 2023 in the markets? So the the best thing to think about during bear markets is that they're generally speaking incredible building opportunities, whether we uh, whether we like it or not, because a lot of the companies that are built on more BD activities don't have BD opportunities. And so everyone looks more internally, everyone starts building more. And so I think a lot of 
incredible innovations and inventions will come out of 2023. We're going to see a lot more regulation. Uh, stable coins are at the forefront of that. Uh, a lot of regulators around the world, starting with Europe, will require that they are fully backed one-to-one -one by incredibly strong cash equivalent collateral. And we'll see a lot of innovations coming out on the infrastructural layer with, with things like Cosmos um, enabling additional application development, as well as DeFi and NFTs having expanded use cases. Because again, this is going to be a year of, of looking inward and a year of every major crypto company uh, building a lot more than in previous years. And I know you're very knowledgeable about the institutional flows. What are you seeing in terms of that activity with the ETPs that 21 Shares runs? So this is an incredibly bullish signal. Uh, I would say for the industry, we have seen nine figures of uh, net inflows uh, so far this year. I think approximately reaching about $200 million. Uh, most people have been holding. Uh, there have been limited buying activities compared with last year, but we have not seen massive selling, especially among the institutional clients. Crypto is here, it's here to stay, and, and a lot of the institutional clients as well as the retail clients um, seem to believe that even during these hard, arduous times that we are in. So has Bitcoin reached a bottom or where do you see the, the range headed in the near term? It depends on if other dominoes start to fall. Right. Um, based on what we know now, without any additional surprises, it does seem like it's plateauing around a bottom or close to it. That being said, and, and you know, uh, you guys report on this on a daily basis, there's still a lot of stuff up in the air uh, that could obviously have a negative impact on the Bitcoin and other crypto asset prices. But for now, um, it's, it's pretty steady and uh, there is enough of a bulwark of support at these levels that pending no surprises, uh, we, we should be around this for a while. 